Oh, ready. Always ready. Hello and welcome everyone to the Real Life Side podcast with me, Eddie Dewar. With me, Zane Groves. Me, Rob Lee. And me, Ash Gould. Ash Gould. Yes. Ash, you just sound like a movie star when you do that. You know that like one of them voiceovers well, for like premiere? One, yeah. 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 Lucky this, when is, they're lucky the this is a radio. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Good. Good. <laughs> Oh, by the way, the legend is back. Oh, the one and only Rob Lee. Well, what I want to know is, yes, um, where, where's Ricky Grover today? Well, you know what? I left today, this morning. Thinking and, and, you, the whole... and you arrived on time. On time. Well. On time. On time. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was on time, Please people. Thank you that. very much. I always knew I would be. Um, and the last thing I heard was Ricky will be here. So oh, when yeah, I got that here. That old trick, that old trick. Yeah, yeah. So when I got you here. go, and then, and then you go, oh, no, I can't go. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. I've been told why yeah. he's not oh, here, yeah, and I thought it was a bit of um, Zane Gross. a bit of banter. But explain to him why he's not here. What's no, going on? Donny Wu, the new pup's not well, so he's got to take him down the vet. Donny who? Donny Wu. So his pup is not well. Yep. So he can't. We had to come, come up with something. In. He's used all the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeez, just, what's he going to use next week I mean the other well, he's used the no food okay. one hasn't he <laughs> <laughs> no food on I'm not coming in so he's used that one a lot so is time. he actually babysitting or doggy sitting he's doggy sitting Donny yeah. he said he's been down the vet he's been very sickly poorly who hey, Ricky or the dog the dog you wanting me up no 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 I'm honest Liz do you believe that Come on, I'm always honest everybody knows that financial advisors are always honest <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, why is everyone laughing? That's what another show that is. <laughs> no, so, well, I find that amazing. I, I would, you know what? If it was me, I would yeah. have made something up better than that. That's yeah. just ridiculous. What, what, what would your excuse have been? Well, um, let, I tell you what. Let's do. Let's do the worst excuse you've ever heard because Ricky's is one of the worst. I think that's on par with the dog ate my homework, ever. isn't it? Funny you should say that, right? <laughs> no, funny you should say that. <laughs> oh, here we go. We've obviously <laughs> go on, we've, we've got. Two puppies, well, one's Elliot's, one's my son's puppy, but obviously stays around ours. Yeah. And I came in the other day, and my daughter's homework was all just... No way. <laughs> I swear to God. Are you so serious? So I was sitting there, and I had to sellotape it all back together. Back together. Yeah, so I sellotape it all back together, but obviously there was holes where holes the dog's eating. Gone through it. Uh, and I came in, I thought, oh, maybe she don't need it. And she came in and said, oh, no, I need that for my... For a final so all this, all this, dissertation yeah, or something all this, like that. All this was sellotaped <laughs> up. But it was quite funny, because she took it into school... And she, and she actually showed the teacher, and the teacher pissed herself laughing. Do you know so what? That's, that's, that's the first ever, time that's I've true. ever yeah. heard that story, and it has it actually was, been real. It was real, yeah. yeah. Even oh. I was, like, I was laughing as I'm sellotaping it all. <laughs> and you got to make get it, it out, out get it out of the dog's mouth and putting it back oh, together. We, yeah. We've oh had, we've had a shocker. I'm, I'm, I'm going to name and shame Cheddar's now. Our, our show writer. Once he'd been out on the lash. And age 31, his mum phoned up and said, "He's not very well. We can't come in. He's got a dicky belly." No, I, 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 I know. No. His I'd mum phoned in. She's see, embarrassed. Can't get you. Actually, you must have heard some. Uh, good well, ones. last week I used the one that I thought it was at the casino. Oh yeah, that was yeah, blinded, that, was that one. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah he, he's got treat. himself over to the casino in the evening. It works a treat, man. <laughs> That's a good. Right, it didn't go really well because you had me. Yeah. Yeah, me. Good. For about thirty seconds. Yeah, normally all the guys in the office is always because they've been out in the piss. And it's all yeah, it's, it's always I've got the squirts or the brown apple splatters or whatever. Well, I mean, there's <laughs> nice facilities here. I mean, t- there's lots of nice yeah. toilets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so there's no excuse pleasant. on that front. They're soundproofed as yeah. well. <laughs> as Ash knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like somebody who's emptying a skit with a sledgehammer yeah, when you go in there. Brilliant. Ledge, welcome back. Thanks very much. Yeah, good to be back. You was at the game last night. I was. I was actually so doing a little, little bit of work. We're doing a bit of work. Yeah, in the. Uh, How did that feel the... working? Cleaning the toilets, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, it was good. I could have made an excuse and not turned up, but but uh, no, I, I I went along. It was good actually. Solid wasn't guy, the, um, yeah, the Bob, the Bobby Moore and uh, around a few tables, chatting to a few people, and uh, with um, Matt Letizia and Jan Franco Zola. Oh and, yeah, yeah, it was very good. So and uh, we get to watch the game and have a bite to eat, and so it's, yeah, yeah, good Out. game, decent game. Yeah, was Matt on What's the old um, Malibu's and cokes? No, 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 he was just on cokes. Really? Yeah, no Malibu. Blimey. Blimey. Must yeah. have been Malibu off day. Oh, because he was working, of course, yeah. Yes. yeah. And yeah. what were you on? Jan Franco was pissed as a far, he was. <laughs> was he? <laughs> what an absolute <laughs> no, legend. He had a glass of, glass of red. Oh, of course, he's Italian. Italian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Classy. Yeah, yeah. classy. He's very classy. I was yeah. pissed as a far, but... Yeah. Ah, standard. Yeah. <laughs> standard British football player. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, it was good. No, it was really good. And I, I, I actually enjoyed the game. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting pissed off with VAR, but apart from that, it was... Um... Tell us a little bit about that. Well, honestly, I was at the game... As I said, and, and, and I'd, I'd, the challenge came in and, and 
the Italian diver dived over. Yeah, Italian yeah. diver dived in it. Yeah. Uh, and, he, and he was rolling around, and even even uh, Italian guy went to take the corner, and guys now the crowd would laugh because he's obviously limping around. Yeah, the guy's been on the floor, and he's gone over to the side of the pitch, and it's taken ages. And I, I didn't even know VAR was going on. I had no oh, idea. Oh, yeah, no idea. No idea. Was I don't think the crowd it. knew why VAR was going on. And that's um, the point. So the, the crowd don't actually know. They need to change and, and as far that. as I'm aware, yeah, yeah. yeah but it, it's a clear, uh, VAR, is, it's got to be a clear and obvious incident. Cut, clear-cut well, that's decision, not, yeah. That's not clear he and just obvious. accidentally was in the pace of yeah. running. Yeah, exactly. His foot went on his foot. foot. And yeah. it was already falling as well. Yeah. It wasn't, didn't stop it. So nobody in nobody in the stadium thought it was a penalty. No. Now, if you look at VAR 20 times... If you're talking to a letter or a law, it probably is a penalty. Yes. But it's not clear and obvious. And is that what they are yeah. basing it on, or is it the clear and obvious it's part? It's got to be clear and obvious. It's got to be clear and obvious. If you went on every single incident, we'd, we'd be, we'd be, the game would be lasting five hours. <laughs> but then you say, what does clear and obvious <laughs> mean? You mean? know what I mean? It'd be like, like what cricket. Does, what does clear and obvious mean? Because it was clear and obvious that he did put his foot on his foot. But it's not oh, clear. Yeah. You, know you what watched I mean? it. It wasn't conclusive. You know that I mean? it was a. Yeah, but I think if you've got to watch it that many times, it should be like not clear and obvious. Like handball. Yeah. Like if if someone watching VAR or the referee's watching it and he has to watch it over, yeah, on 10 screen, times, yeah, on screen, yeah, at slow motion, you still sort of you're you're unsure. That's not clear and obvious. It should be. You look at it. It's, oh blimey, that's a penalty. Yeah, but it's not that. But I think even if you look at you played Les, and you know, you know when you've given a foul away, you know, your body language, your reaction instantly you can yeah. tell normally. It's the intent, isn't it? Yeah. Like handball. If there's no intent, it shouldn't be a foul. That's yeah. right. And you look at the lad, Ty- well, Tarkovsky. Uh, I think you don't, you don't intend to bring someone down, do you? But, well, but I mean, you like, don't intend someone's to go like someone's, that. someone's quicker than you and someone's... Yeah. But you might stop a ball going in with your hand accidentally. Yeah, it I doesn't th- I think count. The, hand, the hand thing is... <sighs> Is, is is if it if it hits your hand, yeah. But what they say that is that obviously if, it, if it's in an unnatural position, well, what what is natural position? What, when you play what, what is an unnatural position when you're playing football? <laughs> what was like, like, <laughs> well, exactly? Why can't you? <laughs> Happy hands. What was yeah. a, what was the worst case of cheating you've ever seen in your career? Well, I, I think the, I, I didn't play in the game, but Maradona was the worst. Yeah. But that, but that would have been cleared up by VAR within a, a second. What, what about a second? Rivaldo when the ball hit him on the arm and he rolled around on the uh, corner flag. Yeah, that was yeah. dangerous. But do you think? That, that, do you think hurt. with the VAR, if a player a player does that, so let's just say I back into Ed, I touch his arm, Ow. you roll down holding your face. Yeah. Do you think if they bring back VAR, it should be sent off immediately for cheating? Yeah, I think it's cheating. Yeah, but, but are they? Are they going to? You but, should, but VAR that, shouldn't be used for that sort of stuff. Yeah, but you look at the players' goal scoring legend. opportunities. Surely it's goal scoring things that that is it a goal? You know, the Maradona one for example. That's you know Frank Lampard when he scored in the World Cup. It was. Two yards over the line. Mm. That's what yeah. it's for, surely. Yeah, but if it might, it might take a if few. If you have to watch it four times, it's it's not clear and obvious. And that's the problem opinion. that I have with yeah. it because even yesterday, once the the referees put the sign up, the VAR sign up, he's yeah. gone there, and you're sitting there thinking, "Well, he's watched it once, mm. he's watched it twice. So What's he clear. waiting for?" So it's not clear. And if you look at Tarkovsky's reaction, he just carried on. Yeah. He just got back to shape, didn't he? Even the Italian, the Italian, Italian as well did. Apart from the lad who was rolling around, all the other Italians were like, get up. And even yeah. one of his guys, get up and go yeah, off. Yeah, pulled him up, didn't yeah, he? Yes. So I think it's, it's something that I think needs a lot more work done to it. They need to understand well, what they've got. It, I don't it, think they understand I, it. I think it needs less. More is less with VAR. Because don't use it as much. Use it for clear, clear and obvious incidents, not incidents that no one's bothered about. Mm. It, it's It's... It has to be something that's a, a goal scoring opportunity, a, a thing that if I look at it once and I can't tell, it's not clear. Right, so less is more. Use it only for and certain all it, all decisions. It takes is, is, it, and it, it, it should be somebody. I don't know how the VAR works. It should be somebody at the game. Well, apparently, there's someone in the truck watching the game, yeah, watching it, and he should, so if he can't if he can't work that out within ten seconds, it's not clear and obvious. Yes, right. Of course. So if if I'm in the, if I'm in that van, get an ex player in the van. Yeah. And he'll tell you, honestly, we've been one, we've won one frame of watching it. But should it be a player, not an ex referee? Well, it should be both. Both. Yeah. Okay. Get, get two of them. Don't have money in football. Get two of them. Just yeah. sit there. And, and, and the, the player will say, no, on the referee, they say, well, to the letter of the law, but the player will say, listen, that, that's just. Yeah. And if yeah. they can't work that out within seeing it once, then it's not clear and obvious. Sure. Yeah, but then, then, then it can still be influenced, once. right? If you're, if you're a lot stronger character than, than Eddie's and you're going, nice bollocks, that's. Well, gonna, no, yeah, but, but if, if you if them two people can't agree on it, it's not clear enough. That'd be a great show, wouldn't it? It's not clear enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, it'd be great. It's still not clear, is it, if you no. can't agree on it? No, no. I mean, every, anyone watching the Maradona thing. Yes, hand of God. Right, every single person, 100 out of 100, would say that's a, that's. So that's clear and obvious. Yeah. That's clear and obvious. 
Frank yeah. Lampard, it's two yards over the line. If you see that once, yeah, clear and obvious. everybody will say it's clear and obvious. If, if it's two of you and you can't decide, well, that's not, not clear. Off, yeah. Should they have yeah. just left it a goal line technology then? Well, I, I think because there's so much money involved in football, I, I think they had to bring something in. But But again, just use it for clear and obvious things. Not, you know, something happens... 10 seconds, 15 seconds before, and then they get a goal, they, and they we go, go back, back to, to that it. incident 15 seconds ago. Oh, that was a foul. Or that was, yeah. And I think even the offsides, the offsides, I, I think if, if you're, any part of your body is in line with the then you have to give the advantage to attacker, I think. Yeah. This, this offside, oh, he is, is, is foot and his toe. toe is over, yeah. he's offside. No, no rubbish. It's yeah. garbage. Yeah. Don't, yeah. we don't Where need the to middle do that. of your body. We want to see, we want to see goals. Yeah. That's so unless, unless you're past him. Yeah. And your body's gone past him, then you're onside. Yeah, but there's going to be a lot of penalties, isn't there now in the World Cup? You know yeah, can I mean? you see? Well, if they use VAR that much, there'll be penalties every single, <laughs> every single three game. Every game. Be three every yeah, game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you watch the way people mark up, and especially well, shirt pulling. I mean, especially the foreign players. That goes yeah, on anyway. Goes on. Think, that's even, actually even, a penalty. Even with the shirt is, pulling, but now with the zonal situation, people are literally rugby tackling each other. Well, to that, it. What are they going to yeah, do about the cheating? Though you back into me, I will give you a little tug on the back, and you fall on the floor. Well, but this is it, and I think yeah. you're right, and I think with that, the VAR the players know that. It make, does it make the cheating worse, though, Ed? Well, what's going to happen is you're going to get caught, and it will and stop think, it in the end, so they think, won't need to use it as much in that but, way. But they, surely that takes so away that way, any right. physical contact of a game, and it is well, no, you're allowed contact physical game, contact. Right? Yeah. It, it, see, this is the thing. I, I don't think the physicality of the game should be taken out of it because football is a contact sport, and and I yeah, think, but also it's it's a sport. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a sport. So you look at. You know, boxers and and any any sort of contact sport. Everyone tries to get advantage over the next person. Sure. How can I beat that person? Yeah. Right. Okay. So if you have to give them a little nudge or, or a little yeah, yeah, little yeah. tiny little pull, yeah. so that's part of football. It's part of as long as you're not grabbing his shirt and pulling his shorts down. It's, it's part <laughs> yeah, of football. You're yeah. trying to get advantage over your opponent. Yeah. It's any sport. Yeah. They're trying to get advantage over, over how you play against that sport. Of course, and I think it's something that has been whether you're a footballer, whether you're boxers, has been installed in you from early age so you do that naturally don't you so I think going back to that the VAR has to be I'm with you on that one Ledge 100% clear yeah. and obvious if you've got two people they're arguing about it it's, I, not obvious, again, it's, not it's like football football is, is being made more and more complicated by people yeah. it's, it's a simple game I mean, it, run by idiots it's run by buffoons <laughs> it's run by people who don't, have I've never played football never played football and have no clue and that's the it. problem that is your issue and that's what it's going to be it's going to be like um, American football it's no. going to be like it's going to be I stop, watched start, football years ago honestly that, that is so dull and boring yeah. I don't know how people yeah. like that but it's literally yeah. I think the American football is like 80 minutes but it goes on for about 4 hours because of the stop start terrible you know, know and I think football's got to be that. you know our, our sport's got to be careful because it runs that risk of going the same way but like you said because well, the flow so is important in football isn't it of course it is Ash, but because there's so much money involved in it like Les said it you know, and they've got to show the crowd. They've got to involve the crowd. They've got to work out a better yeah, way. But it's not panto. And just it's not panto, is it? I yeah, but they show replays. Yeah, but, but, yeah listen, mate, I think they've all got screens. So yeah, if they're doing VAR, then yeah. show, it show it once. Yeah. Show, show it once. Show it, show it. Well, that's it. And if people can't decide, but again, if people can't decide quick, then it's it's not clear and obvious. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not rocket science, is it? Is because it? when you you're at the game yesterday, there was no signs of no. on the screens at Wembley. I think so Wembley's if you missed the referee, which I obviously did miss the referee doing that, then you don't know what's going on. The crowd didn't know what was going. On. There's actually a little red players, stand, isn't there, on the metal thing that comes out, and the ref has a look. This is if, yeah. if they do, you know what tennis does when it when it goes out, and they just put it on the screen, right? Yeah, the oh, eagle eye, or whatever it is. So yeah, but they aren't going to all kick off, are they? Wimbledon and start fighting. Why is people going to kick off if it's clear? If it's clear, then they can't kick off. Can they? It's a dirty punch in the face. You know. Well, then they can't kick off because he's punched him in the face. Crowd a bit angry. So they made the right decision. So I don't. Isn't it? Just use less of it, really. And, yeah. Right. Uh, well, what, about the England team, what do we think about the England team? Ledge and I were having a conversation before you come in, Ed, and uh, Rob was saying in his day when he was playing for England, there was eight captains of their club in the team of 11. Yeah, I think I think that's where England was as a brand I mean, and as a franchise. England, for me, England represents being the pinnacle or being at the pinnacle, at the summit of your career, being the best in your position. Yeah, but it's not that anymore. It's not, and that's what I'm saying, and that's what England represents. You haven't got to be for the, me as a the kid. of your career now being England. No, right? no, you don't. I think now they're giving them away. Yeah. Um, so Eric Dyer club captain. I mean, the captain Eric of England. Captain of England, amazing. You know, it's, it's amazing. amazing for me, and I think you look at it, and, and it, it's, it's almost become like the FA Cup. It's taking the prestige away from it. It's not, you know. You, well, I think the problem is we haven't got enough players. 
and that's that's a, that's, that's another yeah, major. It's factor. simple. We haven't got enough players. But is it because playing in our league? Yeah, and I think the only way that can be. I know the legend, legend and I always talk about this, but I think Zane, going back to that question, is that until we have a rule that comes in and says it's got to be X amount ash of um, English players playing in the Premier League, whether it's in the starting eleven or in the squad or on the bench, we ain't gonna ever solve this problem. So we're never gonna have elite players at England level because when Rob was playing like you said eight captains and they was all top players mm. all we top players have a who was you now, saying we, you know, yourself you know. Tony yeah, Adams you know Tony Adams Paul Beckham Wins. maybe we just Teddy. ain't good enough still you know we're still not as good as technically well, listen, as, I, 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 gen, as, I generally think we, we, we're going to do okay in Russia because I think we've got no probably the first time we've got we've got one world class player in my opinion who's that Harry Kane right mm -hmm. so before we've had Three or four, probably, you know, in theory, like Rio Ferdinand and Frank Lampard and Beckham, Gerard Beckham, and we've had, we had all these that players. And, yeah, so exactly. Speak. Yeah, but now we we haven't really. Yeah. We've got Harry Kane. I think Harry Kane wasn't playing yesterday, so we, we've got these players that you know that seem to be working as a team. I think Gareth will play three at the back because he used to when I was in '98 World Cup with him. Uh, Glenn Hoddle played it, yeah. and Gareth loved playing it. Yeah, uh, I think Carl Walker is. is Made for that position as well. Oh, he is, isn't he? Because he can go wide. He can. Oh, he's great. The trouble is, when he plays there, we ain't got him on the right. <laughs> yeah. So I think they they tried to double up with Trippier from the last game. He's not. They? He's not. Nah. He's not as good. He's 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 not as good. Who are they going to play as a centre half? Good. good uh, well, uh, listen. I I think Stones will play, and I I would play um, Maguire. I think he tries to play football. I think he's been brilliant. Kale's completely out of the seat now, isn't he? Yeah, I think he'll go as as, as cover and his experience. He's not really playing for Chelsea, is he? That's no, that's, that's, that's the, the issue. problem. Yeah, and I think you got you got Rose on one wing. I think what we do lack, and which we'll need in in the World Cup, is creativity in midfield. We've got yes. lots of runners. So who do we look lots at? Lots of quick players. Who well, do we I, look I, to listen, that? for me, it's Jack Wiltshire. Yeah. I look around, look around the English players. But the only me, caveat to that ledge is that Jack's not fit. He just joined up with the England team and he took a knock. Yeah, in his but he hasn't first missed any. Training. He hasn't many club games. No, he hasn't missed many club games. And I and think these okay, these are these are. Friendlies, yeah. So I think they've got to wrap him in cotton wool a little yeah. bit. But it would have been nice for me on a on a selfish point to see Jack play in that system in them two two games. Just to see. I tell you on a selfish point, I like yeah, Harry Kane's injured. <laughs> yeah. no, no, I do. Yeah, no, I've yeah. been to like quite a few punters yeah. there. Everyone bar bar Spurs fans are happy he's injured. They were quite happy being injured to the end of the season. Yeah, and I would. Yeah, I would quite happy. Yeah, yeah, say, yeah, yeah of course. Rest, well, so like like Shearer, he comes back fresh that year. Yeah, and he'll be he'll be fresh as a daisy. Yeah, he'll be ready. Yeah, the to only go. people who won't like it is, <laughs> is, is, is is Daniel Levy and, yeah. and Pochettino. Yeah, but and, I I think it might do him good to have a. Have a but we, we're relying he, so much on him. But is that is that too much pressure for yeah. the young man? I think he loves it because they got Vardy. Yeah, he was good, it. wasn't he? Vardy was good. I like Vardy. I good. think Vardy's a dead set for Vardy on 100%. Vardy, Vardy's different. He's got a goal ledge. Yeah. Like, oh, I yeah, think Vardy's got a goal. Vardy gives us so much pace, so much, like, you know, he's just direct up front, isn't he? Listen, we've got Harry Kane and his backup is Vardy. They're definitely going. But apart from that, yeah, Rashford, yeah. I like. Rashford, yeah. I, I, I really think, is like very, very good. Obviously, Ricky's favourite player. You, you know yeah. what concerns me about the. Ricky the, said he's going with Stam. Did he? Yeah. yeah, no. You know, you know. <laughs> I said good night, Rick. I said there's not enough money to come home to get him. <laughs> no, but with the, with the strikers, you've got Salah, uh, top player, twenty eight goals. Kane, twenty four goals. Top Aguero, twenty one goals. And then the next one, Sterling, fifteen goals. He, he's he's looking much. He was great though, yeah. wasn't he? He was yeah, really. He's, he's, he's just looking score, fantastic. But yeah. it doesn't really matter because he's you know he's breaking through. But, and but the point is, you go you yeah, go back twenty years yeah. ago, you'd have. York, Cole, Sheringham, oh, Shearer. Man. And that's what Ledger's talking Van about. Van Nistelrooy. You'd have 10 to 12 strikers that would all be scoring 25 goals a plus season. How has it changed so much? Because the system's changed. People are playing a different no, way. I mean, and only one striker plays up front. Exactly now. So, you know, is, is, you know, you've gone from having two up front predominantly and two... Four four two. That was the system that you grew up knowing. Yeah, you? yeah but it worked. Well, no. What was wrong with four four two? There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing's wrong with it. It's just it's just it people. It. People people follow trends. That's exactly. So if someone wins a world. If someone wins a world cup, right? Playing five up front. I guarantee <laughs> half the Premier League will play five up front. Guaranteed. Yeah. yeah. They, just, they, just, the they German, they just sweep a uh, keeper. You know that new thing. The Germans sort of invented it, didn't they? Do a keeper that can with, play, uh, play as Lyon. well. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. sort of became the thing at the right. time. Listen, that, that, and that makes sense if, if you've got a goalie who can do it. If and I've said many times before, Edison, because, because it gives you an extra, an extra, an extra man. man yeah, yeah. So playing, what was playing. the positives from the game last night then, what you saw? Listen, I, I think going forward, we had pace. 
Yeah. So we had, you know, we had Vardy who's got pace. We had Sterling who's got pace. Yeah. Lingard who had pace. Brilliant. I do like him, Ledger. I must yeah. admit. So we had a lot, a lot of pace in that team. Yeah. Um, again, what I, I think we lacked was a little bit of creativity. Mm. And I think when, when teams do sit back and, and we, we have to try and break them down, the lesser teams, I, I, I just think you need that little bit of... Is that a confidence thing? Because at the beginning of the match, wasn't it? The defender who kept losing it and all Stones. matches. He, he was looked a bit nervous, didn't he? And Raheem Sterling, after the match, said it, because he did a few back heels. He said, you've got to actually be opposite to that. Try a few, you know, be a bit, do a bit funny, you well, know, uh, try things out. Listen, I think... And be conf- he's confident, isn't he? Well, Costa. legend, no, when you're a top player, I think you... The reason why you're a top player because you do things other people won't do. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And but I think Stone, it, Stones I mean? is Stones is like Rio Ferdinand Mark II, if you like, you know. Yeah. But I think he kind of got caught cold yesterday. And yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, yeah but what you got to understand is he's not playing for his club. No, so he's a little bit rusty as well. So I was you, thinking, you, what you get confidence by playing football, and sure. if so, you know, he's got. A, but he grew into the game. Yeah, but it, it, it takes that long to get into. If he if he'd have played the last eight games for his club, he'd, he'd have probably. Been, but I remember you said, you know, always start the game. You know, well, always start the game. He yeah, fucked yeah, that yeah, up, didn't yeah, he? I mean, yeah, he didn't get that one. If you right. don't start the game well, then, yeah. then the next pass is not good. Then you, yeah, yeah it's contagious. It wasn't. It wasn't good. I think the next thing he did, yeah, he sort of confidence. And I, sort of I, I, don't, I don't care how good you are. If you lose your confidence, then you, 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 you. But seeing the blue shirts of Italy must be quite. Just seeing that, thank. But well, I think years ago, yes. I think now, I could name you. I couldn't name you, I couldn't name you two Italians. No, no, no. no. no, no I they they didn't make Russia. I mean, it's uh, you know. The I, I look around weak. the teams. The, the reason I think we'll do okay because I think we're organised. We've got pace, and and the other teams are not as good as they used to be. Bar Spain, probably Argentina yeah. and Messi. We just yeah. saw, we saw they got beat six. Oh, they got, they got they took six. Do, do you think our, our keeper will be a problem for us? No, I think no, we've got good goalers. I just think it's a case of deciding who it's going to be. Wait, I, th- like I think Butler? Butland, Butland's in, in, in... Would you go I down think. that route? I'll take yes. Pope. Who? Pope. Yeah, the Pope's Pope, not going to... No, 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 the, the, the Pope ain't going to help us. No, I, th- I think he's <laughs> <against> Pope <laughs> <for us. laughs> I, th- I think he's played best out of Pope the John Paul was a keeper, wasn't he? Wasn't he a reserve keeper? Oh, oh, yes. He was. That's a fact. Yeah, he was, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. The fact for, I think Real Madrid or someone like that. I think he's played well against Burnley. But he didn't wear the cassock. That would have helped though, wouldn't it? It would have helped. No, I think I think Pope would miss out. Not because he's a bad keeper, not because he's had a good bad season, but I just think because so take Joe Pickford, Hart, yeah, I think because got he, he's got experience. experience. Pickford, I think, has played very, very well, um, and, and I think Butler will be the number one. But oh, you know what I like about Pickford? He ain't your biggest <laughs> goalkeeper, is he? He's no. not like an imposing figure, but he's so. It reminds me a little bit of Shay Gibbon. Shay Gibbon was the same. Yeah, wasn't imposing. Was well, like small, seven. yeah, small. Um, yeah, but you know. So, you got if, if you're smaller, you got you got to be agile and you have got to yeah. be a good goalkeeper. And that's what Pickford reminds me of. You know, yeah. The only thing is that you know, I'm not. But the only things you'd have got caught out of a little while ago would have been crosses. crosses. But no one crosses it now. No, no, that's that. In oh, Argentina ain't gonna cross it. Yeah. Oh, it's a, a Guerra. Oh, can buddy. you imagine you whipping it in and Shearer exactly. going up yeah. with um, Pickford? You'd have done well, it exactly. every day. But no one does that anymore. No, unless it was Ian Walker, of course, greatest keeper the Premiership's ever seen. You could keep it, Walker. Yeah, By the way, Pope John Paul wasn't Real Madrid. It was Carol Wasia. In Poland, it was uh, Julio Iglesias, of course, was the goalkeeper for Real Madrid. What, yeah. Yeah, that's, what that's the famous different. tenor? When they begin, yeah. they begin. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so um, you fancy our chances then in Russia? I think we'll do. I think we'll do better than expected. I think semi-finals could be. Oof, really? Could this be the world? Could this be the first time? You know, 50, 60 years of hurt, fifty-seven <laughs> years of hurt, <laughs> eight years of hurt. Could this be it? Because well, we did look good it, yesterday. You got a chance of winning it, haven't you? you know, we yeah, did, we looked good yesterday, but we looked good when there's, you know, there was no pressure on us yesterday in the last two games. There's no pressure. I think when you go into that tournament competition, especially the biggest tour- football tournament competition in the world, you know, yeah, expectations, yeah. and it comes with yeah, a completely knackered, different set of um, yeah. um, I get nerves. it. It's, it's again about, it's about confidence, how you start the tournament. If you start, to, we, we, we've got a good group. So if we start the tournament well, bar yeah. Belgium probably, yeah. that'd be a tough game. But, but Liz, did you ever go into uh, any tournaments or... With England, feeling that, you know what I mean, I'm not really at my best? Well, again, the only tournament <coughs> I was involved in was the World Cup, and, and we had a good team. I thought Which we had, one was that? I thought we had a chance. 98. Of winning, uh, 98 World Cup. I thought we had a chance of winning it. Yeah. I wasn't actually in the team, but uh, we had, like, Skulls and Beckham, Shearer, Owen. Michael Owen was coming through, yeah. um, Incy, uh, Tony Adams, Sol Campbell. Because so yeah. he scored a dislike goal as well. Yeah. He scored two dislike goals. Argentina, yeah. Who's that? Sorry. Sol Campbell. Yes, he did, yeah. 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 And I think we'd have got through Argentina, we'd have had a 
a good chance. We had a great coach in Glen Oddle, so I think we'd have, we'd it was it was a good uh, good opportunity to win. But just you need a bit of luck. You need luck when you're in the tournament. So what's the difference, Ledge? Just paint a little picture for us. Obviously, club football, your day to day, and meeting up with England. What's the biggest difference in your opinion? Well, it's a case of actually you have to work with players you 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 haven't worked with before. Yeah. Um, so and, and it's a very short space of time. I mean, sometimes we met on a most of the England games we used to meet on a after played on the Saturday for your club meet on the Sunday and we were playing on a Wednesday yeah. sometimes you only get uh, you know two or three days in a tournament it's, it's a little bit different but it's a case of actually you, it's only so much training you can do sure. because otherwise you're going to knock yourself out and so you've got to get the right balance. between balance between training and keep but then you have to keep the lads occupied all day yeah. So it, it's, 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 it's a, yeah, it's, it's quite well, clicky as well. Gazer and stuff. I had to keep me occupied all day. It's uh, it, uh, yeah, and it can be clicky. It can be clicky. We, we, you, you stand with the people. It's human, human nature. You, you go with the people you know best. Um, so it can, it can be. Did like you ever that. find any clickiness in that? Or was no, when I they... when I was there, you know, we, had, we had quite a few Man United players: uh, Beckham, Skulls, Nicky Bart, and they all sat together. Neville, they were all grew up together. Didn't they? They yeah, they all grew up together. Well. No, they know each other. We're not click so much, but just where you sat, really. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when, when we had the Newcastle players over here, and it's sort of like people mingle between everyone. But um, I think it's it's, it's difficult. It's how you, I think it's the it's how you get that balance right of training, rest, and and how you keep them occupied. Yeah. Uh, and 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 how you start the tournament. Was it was it a massive golf in terms of club football? Obviously, with England, you've got the best. Twenty odd players all coming together, so to speak. Well, was it, was Jermaine Jenner said it, didn't he? You know, he struggled going back to Newcastle with the pedigree of England. Is that what he said? They should have called him out. Yeah, didn't Newcastle they? players have actually yeah got to, got to apologise to Jermaine Jenner for that for not being not being as, <laughs> good, as, as, not been as good as he is. Yeah, but do you know what I mean, though, Ledge? I think you know what was that like? You know, obviously being with the players that you just mentioned, all under one roof or sharing the same pitch with them. What was what was that ego? The Provider, well, I must admit, like? on, on the generous thing, I never went back from England playing with all the top English players, going back to my club and thinking, well, these are not very good. You never had that? <laughs> no, I, did, I didn't quite have that going back to uh, Ginola and Raspria. And, oh, well, no, no, no. That, that, it's no. just a ridiculous statement. No, no, I don't think he was. Uh, was he all right? Was this after a night out, Zane, or was this a night oh, out? Oh, no, I just think JJ. I remember one of my friends... Uh, uh, I, I heard a song mum, coming. No, but one of his uh, his mum was very poorly, and I said, "Oh, sorry to hear that." He goes, "The only thing that could make his mum's cancer diagnosis worse was finding out that Janice had signed a new five contract for <laughs> well, Tottenham." Contract for Tottenham. <laughs> oh, God. Well, was he that bad for you? <laughs> he was always injured, weren't he? This is he's like a. I actually you thought know, he was he a good player. I liked it. I liked it. I liked he, it. He was like a Kieran Dyer or an Andy Carroll. Never fulfilled his potential. Adam, always injured. Which he come from Newcastle, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He uh, did. Went to Spurs, and he's just I don't know. Well, he left Newcastle because he said it was a goldfish bowl in Newcastle. So yeah, yeah so it's an odd one. But that, you're going to be a top player, surely. You'd... That was always a joke. It could be worse. Janice could sign a new five year contract. Oh, which wow. was hilarious. So did you did you find that Les? Like obviously that tr- transition being with Beckham, Skulls, Ince, then going back there, and was there much of a goal forward that wasn't really for you? Well, not really, because I, I, we had a Newcastle team that was, most of them were internationals anyway, yeah. different, of different countries. Like we had a lot of England internationals. but uh, So it was, it was just that case of actually, I, I found when, once you played for for England, your confidence went through the roof. Yeah. You know, you're an England player yeah. and, and you knew all the England players. And, you know, yeah. I went from not knowing anybody, for, you know, been three, four months, knowing all the England players. And yeah. I think your reputation goes up. But yeah. with that, you have to, st- you have to, you have to step well. up to the plate. You have to keep playing well, yeah, because you are scrutinised. And did, did you ever get in there and look at, <laughs> look at it and go, when have you got called into a squad and think to yourself, well, how the hell did he get into that squad? No, not, not, not with England, no. Oh. I, I don't think I had I, all yeah. the players. Glenn didn't know how to pick a player though, didn't he? Yeah, he was... Uh, no, I, listen, I, I think everybody who got picked for England had attributes. Yeah. Um, and I don't, think, I don't think I ever stepped there and said, well, how the hell did he get picked? It's just a couple But you of, think that now with some squads that get called? Yeah, I do. Well, I know, but again, I, I think it goes down to the fact that, that we, we haven't got many players to pick from. Yeah. And as soon as you, if you're an English young guy now, and you make your debut in the Premier League and you play five games, you're automatically always going to play for England. Mm. You know, look at the Man United, uh, McTominay. Yeah, McTominay, could, yeah. Could have chose England or Scotland. He's played under 10 games. Mm-hmm. And he had England and Scotland battling out to... Then Scotland have capped him straight away. 
So it, you know, you had to play when I was again when I was playing. You had to play at least a season, a season, a season and a half. Before prove yourself. Or yeah. Ashley Young being sort of. Cool I, th- I think he's done amazingly well because I, I I would have never have said he would come back from he was out of the Man United team for but he's a forced year. his way back in yeah but he's he seems to have found a position that. where I think don't think we've got we've got Danny Rose who's yeah. very good at the wing back or, or As a natural he can play left back and yeah. but he just seems to have made that position he's on he's, he's very annoying to the it. opposing yeah. team isn't he I mean he really he's annoying gets, to me when he dives to, and yeah, dives yeah, over and stuff but he just He's but a I tough think, player, isn't he? You know what I mean? He, yeah, he, he, does, he, does, he doesn't. I think he gets a reputation of being a diver. And, and, uh, well, he was. I mean, he is. He, he, well, he's stopped Villa. that now. Well, yeah, he, he, was he was at Villa and he was at Man United. You, I think. But he's he stopped because he got that reputation. And, and he's, I think refs stopped, you know. I don't think, I, I think so he, obvious, you know, right? he's forced his way back into that England squad. Because if you have a look around it based on current form, he's been ever present. Well, yeah, but United the England team's never based on current form. No, I always no, said, like, I, back, I always back, said in your, back in your day. I always was. said it would be interesting. Well, I, sometimes it was, sometimes it wasn't. Because once you've got an England squad, I, I was think it's very difficult to get out. Oh, really? You yeah. It's like unless, you're not, unless you're not playing. Yeah. You know, if you're yeah. playing for your club and you're, you're, you're doing well, it's very difficult to get yeah. It's very good to get left out. Yeah. So once you're in, you're in. Yeah. Um, so it's, 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 it's not always, but I, I always, always thought, well, if you made a list of most informed players, yes. Uh, and you made a list of the England. Squad, yeah. be very interested to see who yeah, will be in. Yeah. And the top players always seem to be injured when it's friendly time, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> again, I allegedly. Yeah. Do, do we need these players to be playing friendly? No, I don't think you do. Not really. I don't, no, I don't the only think reason they do. probably do it is because they have to fulfil Wembley of obviously yeah. selling tickets. They have oh, to have a certain been, amount of their sure. big stars playing. Mm. But there's no yeah. point in playing. You know, Messi didn't play any. The, the he the just joined up with a squad, Argentina. You just join up with your squad. Don't yeah, we'll get them along. And then, yeah, sponsors are happy. Everyone's a winner. The idea of friendlies, really, unless you, unless you're coming in like you're you're one or two games away from when you're starting the tournament, your you know, your squads together is to is to see if players can actually. Do you think play. friendlies should have a point system though, and that deems where you're capped? Explain yourself. Well, do I say Position say club, Ger- Germany are capped twelfth yeah. in the world? Sure, but do you think with the friendly games you should have? Three points oh, for like a win. A... Yeah, just so so you take it a little bit more because seriously. Because then they're not friendlies. No, but then the thing... Yeah. No, but but it helps you stand him. <laughs> yeah, but then that's, that means they're not a friendly anymore. You know, they're actually going to be... And well, you'll, you'll get some people not bothering no, about that. No, and that's about what I was, about to, and, and was I was about to say the same thing. As soon as they have the notion of friendly attached to that game, that's it, it is what it is for them as a player. Mm. If, it's, if it's tournament situations, then you'll find... Players that will find... Unless it's a new team. player who's trying to get in the team. Yeah. And, and, and I think it, friendly yeah. should be for... Like Rob said, the players that are coming through, that you know, done well in under twenty ones, that on that periphery, that you know, doing well for the clubs that want to be well, okay. Well, not well, when, I, when, I, when I was again, I was twenty eight before I was capped for England. But even before that, I had to play two England B games. Yeah, that's right. See if you can play an England B. Remember first. them, England B, England B. Yeah, so that's what I played before. Two and what of those games before. were they? Do you remember? Um, God, I remember one of them. One, one of them was Northern Ireland at uh, Hillsborough at the end of the season. And I played the following season. I played for England, um, so I had to play a couple oh, of England B games. And who managed that then? The England B. Who was that? Uh, well, well, Terry Terry Venables would pick the. Pick oh right, because he was obviously the England manager. He picked. Oh, the so he would have picked the well. same. Yeah, he picked yeah. the B team yeah. as well. So. Uh, and did he manage, or did he have someone else do it? I think he was there. I can't. I, so long ago, I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. 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 I know we won. We won three, three one. I think Neil, cause Neil Lennon played. played. Neil Lennon. Neil Lennon played, and yeah. Uh, Dean Oldsworth was playing. He scored. Dean Oldsworth, jeez. Yeah, Paul yeah. Merson was playing. Um, John Bur- John Burson played England B. Yeah. So it's just, we had like um, you played England B. But no, I don't think we've got enough yeah. players to do that now, have we? No, England no, B. Not, no, 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 no. I think that's why I scrapped it. Yeah. But I, I do like the notion of um, the England B. I think that's yeah. a very good stepping stone for yeah. young yeah. players to get involved in. I don't think we've got enough players. But if that's the case, yeah. then oh, then England B players would be Chelsea reserves. But do they, have, do they have to scrap <laughs> the under oh, twenty ones then? The and they're the England B. Nah, it's not England B. We had under twenty ones as well. Yeah, yeah under twenty ones have been around for a while, but I think the England B was that step because I remember, you know, a couple of my friends when I say got an England B, they was like, yeah, well, we're no, you know, they're rubbing hands together thinking the next step is. Their yeah, forms, but their you, if you team. look at all the, the probably that if I put had a list of the players when I played under twenty ones, I reckon out of the squad, three made it to be full internationals. Yeah, very very few. 
Tony Adams was a captain of our under 21s. I played one game for under 21s. Yeah. And then didn't play again. It until doesn't I was follow, does it? No, it doesn't follow. Really? Yeah. Well, you look, we won the World Cup, didn't we? The under 17s <coughs> and the under yeah. whatever, you know. It's under 19. You won't see heard of any of them in a few years. No, you won't. Yeah. Well, you, you might now, depending if they get a chance opportunity to play. If they get an opportunity to play in the clubs, yeah. then we, we might see well, them. Well, you look at the boy Cook at Bournemouth that made his debut. I like the story that his granddad put a couple of quid on it to say that he... 50 quid, apparently. Yeah. To, like were telling me yesterday. Yeah, yeah. to play um, for England before yeah, he's he 26. 30, and he got 33 to 1. Yeah, he got seven. Really? He's, he ran, I got seventeen grand, didn't he? Nah, I think it was. Yeah, that's what that's what they said on the old TV. Nah, well, not not what I was told yesterday. No, I mean, that odds mean nothing to me. That, so it could have been like, that. No. Well, that's what he said on. He nah, said it was, it was something he about he put fifty yeah. quid on thirty three to one. He got seventeen hundred quid, I think it yeah. was. Why well, was he a footballer before or something? No, his granddad yeah. just called it. Because if you've got a, a father that was a footballer, they won't give you good. I wonder what odds would get for you, yeah, Ash, yeah. playing for England. Well. Yeah. No, yeah. oh, so it's just about a million to one. No, I did have a grandfather who was a footballer. Yeah, so uh, yeah. half a million to one. Well, <laughs> yeah. Just did like, you ever might, do that? Might Liz? Be a little bit too late for you now. Did you yeah. ever do that? Put a couple of quid yeah, on you your know. boys. They, they, they wouldn't take the bet. They wouldn't take no, it. No, some. I wasn't me. I bet you walked in and done that. No, somebody tried to do. They wouldn't take the bet. No, because you're a player. Yeah, of course. What about your dad? Did he put one on you? Well, yeah, but you not, not a bet. <laughs> <laughs> a bet or a slap. Yeah. <laughs> Gave me a few slaps in the old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I bet you did. No, I don't know. I don't think it was, it wasn't done though in, no, in no. those days. It was illegal, it was wasn't it? I think Chris day, Kirkland yeah. was one of the first Chris Kirkland, ones. Yeah. yeah, his dad did that as yeah. well, didn't he? Mm. What's happened to him? He was full of potential. Well, he's retired now. Is he? Yeah, he's he retired. does. Yeah, he's punditry now, Chris Kirkland. I thought he was at Wigan. I thought he was still age 26. Yeah, he retired. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it's been around mm. for that long. Yeah, he's retired. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. So, um, was a decent show in that Wembley for wrapping yeah, up. Yeah, I, I think it was a decent show. so, I think it was uh, probably a draw was a fair result because Italy had a lot of the ball. But I just think the way they scored their goal was I couldn't. They had a lot of the ball, but I couldn't see them scoring. I think with defensively, we look with the three at the back. I, I think we look solid. Yeah, yeah. I like that formation. So right. we go quarters. Where do you think we're going to go, Zane? I just want to fall back in love with England again, yeah. Ed. I've, yeah. I've really fallen out of love over you, the years. The way you so. feel, a lot of people feel that way. I think a lot of people I feel that way. You think it's because you're getting older, but I would yeah. love to... But I do think You're that, saying that, though. So you're saying that, but there was it was a full hour. It was it? Ram yesterday, weren't it, on a Tuesday night? On a Tuesday, on a Tuesday night, you know, played, uh, you know, they played away, but played on, on, the, on the Friday as well. Yeah, and there was a few week. games in London. And, and I didn't expect it to be packed. It, yeah. was, it was a full hour. Yeah. Whether the people are getting excited about the World Cup coming. Yeah. World Cup fever. I, I don't know, but the, I was surprised. It was Just before we wrap this up, Ledge, um, obviously the World Cup being in Russia um, with, with the troubles that happen in Holland the other day. Yeah, we're going to go and do the show in Russia, are we? Yeah, so, yeah are we, we are. Yeah. I won't be. No. <laughs> no. no. Can't, can't chance it, Ledge. Can't, yeah, you're not wrong. Not well, wrong. I've got to make sure your baby gets delivered well, properly, uh, isn't Well, I? you have, yeah. yeah, well, can't, yeah. We, can't we take it with us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> Baptise him. <laughs> like for but, Russia in the future? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's the point. But, you know, so with, with the violence that we saw by the section of idiots that was out in Holland and doing what they're doing, do you think there is going to be a lot of trouble out in Russia? Oh, no, massively. No, organised state, organised trouble. Because I, yeah. I heard your, yeah. your pal, shit, Alan, saying that, you know, he, he wouldn't be going out there. And he, if he had a well, family... Well, no, he, he said he'd be going. He said he, he wouldn't have his family, family going Family out there, yeah. Work. Sorry, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. They said, this, they said the same a few years ago um, when it went to South Africa. And there was no trouble. See, I didn't think South Africa... Yeah, that's a different thing. I I mean, yeah, I didn't think South Africa would have well, been any trouble. Was, I think trouble Russia is a It would have been if they had put your hotel in Deep Sloop. Where's that? It's one of the shanty towns. Yeah, well, I think in, even in the World Cup in Brazil, there was a couple of people standing shanty towns. Yeah, yeah. With this, no. with Russia, though, the police are on the hooligan. They're all on the same side no, together. Yeah, yeah so we're organised. I, I just think it, it, you're right. Yeah, you're, I think there's a lot of trouble. People think it's going to be worse than it is, I think. I think Russia... Well, you They certainly won't want to let... If I was invited out there to go, yeah, I would go out there. Yeah, yeah. I don't see what. Yeah. But you wouldn't go as a minion, would you? Because it's too dangerous. I think. Well, no, I just, I just, I don't. I wouldn't go and travel and watch football, basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless my sons are playing, I ain't, I ain't traveling I ain't to watch football, or someone's paying me. I ain't traveling to watch football. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. a great, a great view, a nice beer in my hand on the TV. Yeah, there Ooh, you go, a and a couple point. of tea and Kit Kat. Yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah, oh, look at that. See, I know you've done that. Yeah, you do know me. Teased him. Yeah, you see that? That was like a through ball, that was. I mean, do you think, you know, teams could get poisoned out in there? It happened once, didn't there? It was oh, a Spurs team, saying. wasn't it? Wasn't there a Spurs side? Lasagna Gate. Lasagna Gate, yeah. But, yeah, but I mean, but this will be polonium out in Russia. There'll be yeah. all their, you know, air will be falling out. Yeah, there's no out, dodgy mints. It's polonium. Yeah, yeah it'll be well. polonium, yeah. 
Speaking so of Bologna, you know, make sure the food's sealed. English. We've got the fix- weekend fixtures come back. The Premier League is back. Thank God. Yep. Spurs Chelsea, the only game to look at this weekend. Who? Spurs Chelsea. Nah. Easy Spurs win at the, at, at the bridge. No, I, I I think Chelsea are going to without Harry Kane. I think you're going to get beat. Nah. It's just an opinion. I uh, so at, it's a, it's a at the opinion. bridge. It's just an Chelsea opinion. Chelsea will do you guys. That's true. Do you reckon? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. And that's not me being anti Spurs, but I'm just yeah, I, Spurs shouldn't rush Harry Kane back. <laughs> Give him a nice rest. And yeah, but the other players at Spurs are sort of doing well. They're holding four. To be they? fair, oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't, you, you see what's happened. I think I, I spoke to you about this on the phone. But when Harry, since Harry's gone down, you've seen other players like Song Coming step up, up to the yeah, plate. Exactly, yeah. And yeah. I think that can only be a good thing for Spurs. And like you're saying, have a rest, son. Don't rush back. We're, we've got a nice yeah. little thing going on here. Chelsea been, always a different man, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, so I just think, listen, you, you lost a massive player. I didn't want to lose Harry. That's missing Harry Kane will feel it. But I just think you've got. Other players, they're stepping up. And I think Song's an incredible player. I think he's a very, very underrated player for Spurs. He's a good little player. For what he brings to the table. But you know? any, any team at this stage of the season can beat any other team. That's the, the beauty of the Prem, right? Well, yes. Apart from Man City. Apart from Man City. Yeah. I, I, I think yeah. you look at Man City, I think, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No one's uh, beating them at the moment. No, no, I think Man City's run away with it. I think they're gone. They're, they're gone. Yeah. They're gone clear. I, I can't see... Not even the mighty flipping Man United. Well, no, no, he's catching them. No, no, no. Too far in front. Way too far in front. 16 points or something. Yes, too. You know, so I think for me, just going back to your game, um, Chelsea Spurs, I'll I'll definitely go for a Spurs. I'm sorry, Chelsea win there. It'll be like 2 1. Oh, well, I'm going for Stoke. (laughs) You're going for uh, Stoke. (laughs) So childish, aren't you? (laughs) Right, obviously, Stoke, Zane's mentioned, at home, or Arsenal's at home to Stoke on Saturday. So we'll soon see if he puts it on his accumulator, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Put, now, yeah. Some dodgy, dodgy deals. Five yeah, 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 yeah. on the yeah. trot yeah. to the Groves yeah. Inn. Yeah. Yes. Right, yeah. You can honestly, never trust yeah. him. No, no, you can't, no. mate. Honestly, it's ridiculous. No, but so, don't, we don't, you know what I'll see on it later on? Arsenal to win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know that's good. Look, he ain't even denying it. He gives it, you yeah. all this. He gives you all this when we're in, in the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Arsenal to win. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you can't it. do it tactically, Ledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he ain't even denying it. I like your style. No, I'm, hope, I'm hoping Salah doesn't play for the rest of the season because so Kane can catch him up and win the Golden Boot again. No, no. I think um, he's had a great season. I think Salah has yeah, been brilliant. Salah is fantastic. Brilliant. I think. I just like what he'd be well, interested to do. Play, player of the Year would be very interesting because that's coming up. I'm really excited. I got invited to that recently. Yeah? Yeah. Who's your plus one? I me. Never, I never go. Why don't we go? Why don't we get What's a table? Ever? Can we get a table? What's the matter? I don't know. Never I don't go. We'll have to pay money for that. You don't yeah. pay money for anything. Yeah, <laughs> it's got pot for this. I'll definitely pay money for that. You better ask. You better ask. You, <laughs> you better ask. Allegedly. I think it's been, I think it's been Salah, De Bruyne, and David Silva, I think. De Bruyne would go for me. I think Salah, the one. I think Salah might get it, though. I believe Salah will win because Harry's not going to. Seedless Harry, Harry would be one of the top six. Yeah, he's in the top easy, six easy, again. Easy, easy. I think. Yeah, I, I think second, definitely, or somewhere like that. But I think Salah. He's just. He's just. He just. I think, I think Salah, De Bruyne, and Silva. That's why I think. Well, let's, let's see if uh, if he can do it next Salah, year. De Bruyne. Salah. Yeah, and then we'll. They said that about Harry Kane, didn't they? Yeah. But he's done it. He's done it consistently. Yeah, well, definitely, I'm his biggest fan. Yeah, definitely. Um, Man United, Swansea. That's yeah. that's a definite win, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some, there's some good ones. There's some good sort of like. Scrappy ones. Ones that, that, that you think, hmm, yeah. Cumulo might look good here. I Your think... old boys, Ledge, Huddersfield, at home to Huddersfield. Yeah, Newcastle will beat Huddersfield. Yeah? Yes. Got too much for them. Yes. They're on a little bit of a little roll for them, so I think they'll um, they'll come through that. I think if West Ham lose to Southampton, they're in West some Ham, real, West Ham, real Southampton is the big game. Oh, that's the game. a point between them, I think. Yeah. That's a six point. I mean, old school that one, isn't it? Yeah, but West Ham, West Ham could fall in the bottom three if they lose. Yeah, it? exactly. They'll switch the faces. Is, and they've got a real tough run. Now the problem at West Ham is, yeah, as soon as they go goal behind, that's it. All hell's gonna break loose again. Yeah. And I've been here. Obviously, you know, we've been hearing that there's been talks between the West Ham supporters union and the owners of the club, Golden Sullivan and Karen Brady, but. I don't think the West Ham fans are being given the information that they want to hear. So I think if they go down, especially against Southampton, early doors, and they're, they go down after five, ten minutes, it's going to be a real Listen, it, it, it depends on who tough, scores tough the first, game. as you say, exactly. who scores the first goal. If, if West Ham score the first goal, the crowd will get behind them like they... Like they yeah, the up, there's no you know, tomorrow. Like yeah. the old Upton Park. Yeah. If they go behind, like you say... Right. It'd oh, be a that's a totally different. And match. I think that's that's the biggest pro- they problem. They need for me. to score the first goal. Yeah. What do you reckon, Ash? Well, maybe they need to pretend that they're one nil up then. 
<laughs> sort of going to a sort of form of hypnosis before. Yeah, I think they, they might get need to get Darren Brown in. Uh, sort of but yeah, West Ham probably because they're in such a sort of yeah, damage. I think, I think West Ham need to win. I think yeah, exactly. Win. Yeah. So Everton, Man City. Wow. Yeah, no point even going about that, yeah. is it? It's just a, yeah. So what's happened odd, with Big Sam? What the odds are? The odds on that. What's Big, Big Sam's in the recycling bin of old managers who should have given up the ghost ages ago. But he's, yeah. <laughs> Big, yeah. Big Sam comes and does what you want him to do. And that's it. That's No more, no less. No, that's there's no thrills, is there? Keep us up, okay. Keep us up. Don't don't really care about playing attractive football. And I think that's what the Everton fans are saying. They're not happy with the style of football that's being played. But guess what? He didn't get commission to do that. No. If you wanted that, you you know, you, you go and get a manager you want to sack Koeman, basically. And he only signed his six month contract, didn't he, or something? So oh. was it well, oh, six, yeah. was it year? Yeah. 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 Well, look like Pardew got a forty five year contract with West Brom. He always does you? though, doesn't he, Pardew? No. He's the luckiest manager in the world. What's he got now? He got three and a half years at West Brom. Did he? Yeah, they'll be going down immediately. <laughs> <laughs> what amazing, amazing! But did he get like an eight-year deal at your old club? Yeah, to Newcastle. Yeah, eight years. We still got five years to run. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> still doing a bit for them now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! But I mean, eight years. I mean, what? what was the he, yeah, he was. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think he had a sports direct contract as well for ten years. So. Okay. I think it's just to tie people down for eight years and thinking. Yeah. Well, a lot of them tie tie people down in long contracts so that. If somebody comes in, they can actually yeah. so obviously ask a lot more money yeah. for them. But, um, oh, so that's the science behind it, is it? Let's... That, that that's what the science is. I think. Yeah, that's the only reason. I could see a lot of the big contract. clubs coming in for Pardew when he's uh, for his managerial skills. Well, they might do. I mean, you know, hey, he'll be might. in that little group. Yeah, oh, always, group. Always, 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 get employed, yeah. get sacked, get employed, get exactly, sacked, get employed. It's like you talk about your man, your man, Big Sam. And, and when he guys, leaves yeah. Everton, guaranteed he's going to get another gig somewhere. Of course he will. Guaranteed he'll get another gig. Of course he will. You know, no and, and and that's what happens in this merry-go-round of the managerial world. What a shame. Um, West Brom, absolutely gone, Done, aren't they? Finished, done. Yeah. Gone, finished, done. end off. But Cheerio. you would put your money on Palace going down 10 games ago, wouldn't you? Well, you know what, I think... Yeah, but they had, they had a lot more... Time left. Yeah, time left. yeah. 20 games to go. You got, you, they got, yeah. What you got, they got now? Eight, six, that, seven? Seven, yeah. Seven, seven games seven, to go? Yeah. It's and too you, much. Yeah, yeah. you've got to win all of them and you have, you've only won three Can all the season. Can you imagine that pressure? West Ham, you've got to win all of them. Yeah. Well, you're, oh, you're, that, well, there's no pressure that's, that's if you're not going to win it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, so pressure, yeah, the pressure yeah, yeah, is that's it, yeah. we need to win three of them. Exactly. That's the pressure. That's the pressure. I wonder what would happen if Man City said, oh, we ain't bothering playing the rest of the games because we've got it sewn up. They could put other players in, couldn't yeah. they? Well, they could get yeah. done for that, though. No, but could they do that and put their entire you B team in? No. You get done for that. You get done for it, yeah. So who did that recently, recent time? That. Someone did that. Yeah, and they yeah. Could... You, get, you can get done for that. Yeah. They also want to say they won it by this many points. Yeah. And they, I think they've got Pe- a chance to break records, haven't they? I so. think Pep's yeah. a character that he won't, yeah. he, he'll keep his foot on the neck and he'll go, like, right, let's go and do this. Yeah. Let's go. And yeah, but when you say if you've won it with six games to spare, is that a real great time to blood your youngsters? Still, have, still have the players in, but have five. Have your that sub many games to spare? Six, five or six. I win it with. So have have your sub bench yeah. purely people who've youngsters. never played in the first team. Don't, don't forget, the, don't forget these guys beyond bonuses. Yeah, well, get, the, I know, but yeah. if you're if you're on three hundred grand a week, you're going to miss your bonus. Well, it depends what it is. Everyone's <laughs> uh, <laughs> got your bonus. It's a million quid. Might have a hundred yeah. grand bonus. <laughs> yeah. You might be on hundred grand a game. Yeah. <laughs> might be a curly whirly. That's six, six hundred grand. Yeah, that's six games. Yeah. 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 I mean, you've got a well. certain amount. If you get a certain amount for winning the league, you'll get a certain amount per game. No, mm. but it's... That might be 50 yeah. grand for them lot. But I think Pep would really want to make a statement. I think, especially what, after, what happened last year, excuse me, what happened after last, year, last season where he, you know, didn't quite get it. I think this season he's just... Well, it will inflate the market because people like Mourinho, Chelsea, Spurs, Arsenal, they're going to have to buy massive if you want to compete with that. Well, you have look to. At the, uh, I think... I think we're going to we're, we're gonna have to dig deep like, and bring yeah. Jamie O'Hara back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's deep. Well, he's on big money at Billy Ricky. <laughs> he's yeah. Yeah, big money. I'll You'll get a load of money for it. Kane soon, though. Oh, Ash. It's like a dagger to the heart. <laughs> yeah, but that's fact, though. You know that. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> no. 200 million quid, right. though. And don't get, forget, he's yeah. injury prone now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. He's got a bit of um, a... Yeah. yeah, no, Sal- Salah's off. But he's going to take his place. But you really want Salah to go, don't you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it takes a shot <laughs> off Kane, doesn't Salah it? To go to, um, Kane to go to Real Madrid, Salah to come to Spurs. He's not like, like Rob said. He's never, ever going to have a statue built from a Real Madrid. Spurs, he'll have three. And he'll be on the same I money. think that's a bottle job, personally. Oh, bottle job. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, should we chat about the, the big boxing match of the weekend? Yes, let's talk yes, about that. Yes, Ricky. Oh, 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 o
That's the end right. of that, then. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good chat, yeah. Tom of the week, Ricky Shout Grover. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, that's me done. Right. Out of boxing. I really yeah. like that. Well, bit. that's the only yeah, reason I came in. Yeah. yeah, me. I, I just, yeah. I saw the, um, as you will know, lads, I know fuck all about boxing, but I just saw the sort of like the two next to each other, sort of like Joshua and Barton next to each other. And I'm, yeah, yeah. Joshua looks ridiculously big and Huge, strong. He? he just looks like a man mountain, doesn't he? Yeah. And, the, and the guy's, Parker's yeah. looking up at him, isn't he? And he ain't a small yeah, boy no. either. But Parker's like Mary sort of thing, yeah, isn't he? So, so you know he can hard. take a punch. And Tyson was only like five foot five. five eleven. But Parker does five look 11. a bit like the young Ronnie Cray. Mm. Ah, in his get up yesterday, yeah, exactly, he looked yeah. good, didn't he? Yeah, I think that's yeah. where he was going. Yeah, yeah. he looks he looks sharp, so, didn't he? Because nah. he's been saying to Joshua, "You can't say you got glass chin. I'm going to put you down." <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, I won't say that to Joshua. He, he got, has got the best. He has got glass chin. Yeah, but he got and up and gave that geezer a hiding after. No, no, but what Klitschko ten years ago, he couldn't have boxed. Ah, see, he, I don't buy into that. Uh, say, no, he, no, he, he, he could have boxed Lewis. Lewis would have. Klitschko was an old man when he beat him. That was close fight, wasn't it? It was a close fight. But he's he's more of a brawler. He's not like a Lennox Lewis, where he's a real tech. T- yeah, he's a technical boxer. He's not. Yeah. No, I think it's almost like Ricky would be proud of us listening to this. Yeah, he? He oh, really yeah, would, yeah. We love what we're doing. Here. Yeah. I just, I just, I just personally think that this. No, he doesn't have a chin like Amir Khan. Amir Khan, he, when you say glass yeah, but, job... But he's me, not fought enough good people, though. Granted. He, but when, D- when Dillian took, White rocked him. Yes. Klitschko put him on his ass. This boy, if he connects, he's going to put him on his ass. Yeah, but then again, this is a heavyweight game. You saw what Dillian White did to Lucas Brand. Anyone can knock anyone I mean, that, that young out, Daniel yeah. Dubois, he put him his ass in sparring. Exactly. This, this is Ethan like 18... put him on his ass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a friendly... No one cares about friendlies. Yeah, no one friendly. cares about friendlies. And is it unlimited is... subs? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a tag team. Like, yeah. So, you know, you look at Dillian White. Tag boxing. Oh, that could be good. Tag boxing. That would be really good. <laughs> I've just made a new sport there. But oh, what if you're knocked do out? Do you, have you, you can get your hand up. <laughs> yeah, you just, like you, like yeah, you got to do the wrestling. Get your hand up. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Good idea. And then you have like, you could have two mm-hmm. against two. Yeah, oh, exactly. You could be they used to have that, didn't they? The, yeah. Yeah. the rumble, yeah. So who are you going I for, Ed? Um, I'm going for Joshua. Oh, he's a no-brainer. But I'll tell you what, though. Parker ain't going to be a mug. He ain't going to be a mug. He, he, what are he, the he, odds? He, the bookies he, always know. I feel I mean. it'll be like 75 to 1 for a Parker knockout. Well, worth putting a, a, a quid on it. I think Joshua will win, but I don't think he will be an emphatic win. I don't think he will be that. I don't think he would be an emphatic win, no. I don't think he will be a highlight one. Do you think it'll be a crap fight? No, no, I don't. I think do you good. think he'll be? Really he's, uh, do you think he'll be? Uh, he'll take a punch as good as Lucas Brown did at the weekend. Oh, fucking hell, Luke. is he all right? Les, is he all right? I got no idea. <laughs> I think he's still still unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that fight and he, he was unconscious before he hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I should have laughed. We're laughing because he's fine, thank yeah. God. But. He's walked into that ring and I'm sitting there looking at this guy I'm thinking to myself, he just reminds me of a, a bouncer from Faces when I used to go to in Gantz Hill. But oh, he's, 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 never, he's, guys, yeah. he's, never lost, he's never lost though, has he? No. To be fair. Fuck. But who's he been fighting? He's had 38 fights. Look at that, he, he was awful. And by the, you know, and there was, yeah, but he's, Dillian he, White came in for a lot of stick. Yeah. Came in for a lot of stick because of the way he celebrated. Rightfully right? so, I think. No, I think that's bullshit. And I'll tell you what I think is bullshit. He's been training eight, to 10 weeks for a fight you're going into the ring with someone that wants to rip your head off and like vice well, versa right he gets there first he's going to celebrate no right? I wouldn't if that was you Ed I would have made sure you was alright yeah but you have a personal relationship with me no no but if I didn't know you because that's the way I am yeah fucker <laughs> you know I don't buy that but, but I think Dillian White but Josh Joshua Ed has not fought anybody better apart from Klitschko and Dillian White than Lucas Brown has fought yeah and but that's the my thing point. is okay let me just finish that point Lucas Brown you're He's, each corner should have had a duty of care to him to say, listen, all right, money's money. Of course, that's why I've done it. Yeah. But there's also got to be a duty of care to say to him, you are unfit. You're going to go and get literally killed, which you, well, you know, almost done, happened yeah, to yeah. him. So you, if people are giving um, Dillian White stick for his celebration, what do you want him to do? It's I, boxing. I, yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a celebration. I, I think it's a fact. It's boxing. And Jajora did the same thing. They, they win a fight, which well, they should win, and they, they start calling out all these... But people the, like the that. top I mean, men in boxing. Yeah. Like, I want to fight you. I want to fight you. I want to fight, 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 fight a David A. Well, they like start call calling that, people. Out. Good, good, you yeah, it's a payday, someone, isn't it? Hey? It's a payday, and I think well, they do the same thing. They start calling them out because they've just beat someone they should beat. Yeah, exactly. Really. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And, and if I was so, Dillian, I would look. I wouldn't look to Lucas Brown. If I was Dillian, I would just go. Oh, I should have beat him anyway. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, routine. I should have beat him. He should have been in the ring. Next thing. Yeah, they just. I don't like. But you have to think like that, don't you? If you're a top boxer, I'm the best. I'm the greatest. Like Ali, you have to. You have to. If you don't have that level of confidence and as a sports person, well, I think there's a difference between 
thinking you are, knowing you are, than actually shouting around. Because if you shout but around, you, you, you usually are not. You usually are not if you shout around. Bar Muhammad Ali, probably. Yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. you actually, if, if you're same with football, if you shout and holler about it, you don't see Messi. Oh, I'm the best in the world, am I? See Ronaldo, though, actually, didn't you? No. <laughs> you make Ronaldo. That, that oh, Ronaldo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You don't see him coming out and saying, "I'm." I'm no, he just does it on the pitch. Yeah, he just he? does it on the pitch. Which is on the pitch. This week. He does sort of come out and really? say he's the best, though, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. He does yeah well, he thinks really. he's the best. But he is. But I mean, again, like Ali, he probably is. You know. Yeah, but the thing is, he would not be the player he is, and I don't think you would have been the player he was if you didn't believe that ledge. Yeah. Well, I didn't believe I was the best. I believed I was good. You but never knew, believed you was the no, best in your the, position. No, okay. no, he had David uh, Ginola on his side, didn't he? He could ah, never be the man. best. No, listen, I think you, you look around. <laughs> that's horrible, Zane. That is it. That's you low. Know, that's blow the belt, isn't it? I think you've got to be realistic <laughs> as well. Yeah. You, can, you can think you're the best, but you, you, you actually, I think if you're honest, you actually... You know, well, a professional will know whether they're Gazza, the best. Gazza's in the same position as me, so I'm not as good as Gazza. I wasn't as good as Gazza. But had you not had that mentality... My mentality was to be as good as I possibly can. But did Gazza think he was the best? I was better at other things than Gazza was. Yeah. But I wasn't a better player than him. But at certain things, I was better than he than well, he was. What did Gazza think about himself? He was a bit. Oh, you know, he thought he was the best. Yeah, oh, did he? But he was though. He yeah, was, yeah. yeah he, he was. was. Yeah. But he wouldn't. He wouldn't. You know, come out without joke, jokingly and say he's the. But he yeah, wouldn't. You wouldn't yeah. hear him come out and say oh, I'm the best player he's ever. Yeah. He's just naturally. He do it on football. the pitch yeah. anyway. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the difference between you know boxing and and, and football. Yeah, I think. Um, but you talk about Gazza. I can remember going to the petrol station and getting a a sun or he's in the front of the sun and Gazza was in there and he had his little shorts and his six pack back and he said he'd been sleeping and drinking Red Bull and stuff oh, yeah, I think yeah, it was yeah. like the 96 or 98 yeah. World Cup and he was like yes Gazza's in but that's yeah. what that's... he got hooked onto that Red Bull yeah. he did yeah <sighs> he, got yeah. he wouldn't have got hooked on Rich Energy would he because yeah. it's uh, made with yeah. mineral yeah, water can't, can't get hooked on that no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it makes, no, makes you a better person <laughs> exactly yeah. that makes you a better player <laughs> 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 I've been drinking it for months and nothing happened to me you're a great player yeah, oh, tool of the week then tool of the week I've got a good one this week who are you going with England shirt prices oh what are they now 100 quid Oh, it's a shocker. It's like 90 odd quid. Yeah, have got that new material. No, though, special uh, material. You know what? Yeah. Gold leaf. It's yeah, special. it's woven with plastic. gold material. It's plastic, yeah, it's real good plastic. Oh, that's a, that is, that's a lot, isn't it? If you've got a couple of boys yeah, yeah. and they're really into yeah. their football and you want to buy the old yeah. kit, you're in you for get, 400 sheets. Get yourself sheets. down Robert Market. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> oh, they, they do a great white England kit with, with four <laughs> lions on it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks, looks marvellous. <laughs> Just keep away from any heat. <laughs> Four lines on your chest, I tell you. Don't even play football yeah, now. You could I go mean, up and smoke. It's 99. <laughs> when, you, when you hear that, you sort of think it's fair enough. They do uh, they do copies and sell them in markets when they're yeah, it's, people it's, like that. It's a lot of dough, isn't it? It's a lot of dough for the it's average a, person. It, it, it makes your eyes walk when you've and got to buy And clubs do it. Clubs, they have five shirts, shirts, don't they? Yeah. They have a, this a home and away and uh, all this. Uh, I suppose that never affected you, Led, with your boys. Getting Lobby Solano on their back of their Newcastle kits all the time. You got it free, no? My lads had some weird ones but. They had uh, they they went for a stage where they really liked Leeds, so they obviously they had Harry Kuehl on the back of their yeah, shirts, yeah. and then one one time they wanted me to get Ian Hart on the back of their shirts. Ian Hart, Hart, the left left back, yeah. Really? So they used to have weird weird people on the back of their their shirts. Yeah. Jimmy Somerville. No, <laughs> I don't think he was ever in there. Jimmy, Wayne Sleeve. <laughs> Jimmy Savile. That would have been worrying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now then, now then. Yeah. So um, yeah, tool of the week. Where are we going? No, I'm just, uh, just going to go Ricky Grover because I'm just yeah, fed up yeah, with him, right? And if he wants yeah. to fight me, he can fight. Well, no, no. Is this yeah. on? Is this still on? He's actually recording. <laughs> Rick, I'm going to sort out a little promotion did, 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 did. <laughs> This is off, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, it's still on, mate. That's it. You've called it, Rich. You've called it. Rick, my money's on you, mate. Right, tag team, tag team, oh, Rick. I saw Ricky last week. He's looking in good shape, mate. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking in good shape, so you want to is be he? careful. What yeah? shape is it, though? Oh! <laughs> 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 All right, listen, Rick. That's what you told me to say. No, 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 no. The, the, the mic is on. Is the it? mic yeah, is yeah, absolutely yeah. on. Recording. Recording. Stuff, yeah. You better edit that. Is this off? You better edit it all out, yeah. <laughs> All right, Aaron, make get sure, Aaron, get rid of that bit, yeah, will you? Yeah. As, make sure you keep this in, yeah? <laughs> right, keep that in. No, but I would love to see you and Ricky in the ring. I bet you would. Yeah, oh, I bet you would. That would make my I'd, year. I'd love you to give me a tool of the week. <laughs> I, I bet you would. I bet no, you my would. tool of the week would be. Um, oh, I don't know if I could give it to Rick. That's a bit harsh. But well, you right. normally what, nick what someone you, else's, so it should be either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, who'd you go for, yeah, yeah. Ricky? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, my tool of the week is the um, English fans that was pouring beer on people that was 
in, in Holland that was going through the canal. Can I, can I say, you know what's funny about oh, that? Really? Right? You know when you, you, oh, you, you find you, it funny? No, no, well, I do find it a little bit funny, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah in a, in a weird sense of thing, because those people, right, those those guys who are doing it, it's all right doing it when you're 18, but I... They're, they're, they're like 50. 50. They're 50 and they're still doing it. Oh, <laughs> that's all right then. Yeah, this, this, yeah, yeah, this is yeah. what I don't understand. Yeah, I, don't, I don't get... Why don't... I think when we were all young, we all done stupid things, and you know what I mean. But you're 50. Some of them are granddads. Sometimes you, you see these yeah. guys. If you went back to footage of like West Ham hooligans, right? You'd same still, cats, see, you'd yeah, still see them. <laughs> same people. 50. Yeah, yeah. They got they got grandchildren. They're still doing the same thing. And you think, but the mentality. What the heck? Why? You didn't grow up for and God. chucking people's bikes in there. Grow <laughs> up. That's not even funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny, but no, it's very childish. The bike thing was funny. The beer was ridiculous. I mean, yeah, well, at least you have your mouth open. Chuck some champagne over there. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Champagne, not yeah. beer. If that was expensive, would they be chucking it over there? No, exactly. no they wouldn't. If it was a bottle of Ace of Spades, they wouldn't be getting yeah. chucked no, they, over there. Nice there. beer out there. No, no. That's my tip. You been chucking some weed out there over as well. That would have been all right. Sure, guys, not sure bad. Yeah. Right, who you going for, Ash? The ref, England, Italy. He looked like Buffon, the keeper. Yeah, he he maybe he was. Well, that's nice what I was thinking. I'm thinking, thinking, yeah, why is he refereeing? But, uh, yeah, just for his... Um, looking at the VAR and, VAR and then saying that's a penalty, just him running and his foot went on it. You know mm. what I mean? It's a sham. He was a, a tool for the making that decision. Yeah. A big tool. And, tool. And, and to do it in Wembley as well. Mm. I mean, a brave tool. And I, and I have to throw it off yeah, by, right, by, yeah. by wishing my uh, window cleaner, Dathan Snow, the millionaire window cleaner, <laughs> it's pouring with rain. He's earning no money today, so got to feel sorry for him. Yeah. Is he at all or? No, no, big Spurs fan, big listener of the show. Oh, yeah. So I'll give him a shout out. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah these uh, days, when oh, all of a sudden now you get your windows clean for nothing, are oh, you? Yeah. Best oh, window cleaner oh, in the world. Oh, 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 no. Sorry, mate. What's his you name? are so cheap, son. Oh, 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 what's, no, what's his name? Dathan. Who? Dathan. Dathan. Oh, Dathan he's got, he's got two names. names. Dave and Nathan. <laughs> he's, got Dave and Nathan. <laughs> he's got two names. <laughs> Who Monday calls someone Nathan? Dathan. Tuesday's Dathan. <laughs> Dathan. Dathan what? Snow. John Snow's brother from... Uh, <laughs> it's true. Dathan Snow. Oh, he's a, he's a champ. Is he? Does he, he go, they don't use ladders he, now, he doesn't though, do have, they? He doesn't have a van for ladder. He has a Bentley Continental. He's loaded. Really? Well, they are yeah. now window cleaners. Not surprised, man. Of advertising yeah. he gets for nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. Dathan, where, Dathan, where, where, where? Dathan, I've, that's, that's, Dathan. I've never around the, heard that around the Essex area. You know, if you want your windows clean, give him a call. <laughs> <laughs> Does he come out to the Oxford area? <laughs> no. It's too far. He'll have to get his private jet for that. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, um, Ash, have you given yours? Yeah, yeah, you give yours? Yeah, yeah, it's all done. It's all good. We'll be back next week. Um, just got to say, just before we finish, we are going to put updates for Rob and Ricky's um, fight. In next week's show, yeah. so yeah. we're looking to yeah, my, my do a big dog's show not well next week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my dog's very ill next week. Yeah, Ricky's is better. Every other week, the Ricky's here. <laughs> every yeah. other week that he's here, the dog's going to be poorly. Yeah, nice. And check and check out uh, Ed's vlog levels. We'll have a chat about it next week. But thousands yeah. of people have been watching it. Check out. Ed's Can't talk vlog. about it now. We ain't got time. But no, yeah, we'll have, yeah. have a look next yeah. week. Levels. What is it? Levels. It's a little vlog he's doing. A what? Thousands gone viral. He's done a little log. A vlog. A vlog. You are in it, a Les. Vlog. Yes, yeah, a, really? vi- a video well, log. Have you paid me for that? No, no, no. That's a small print. No, you, you, you don't know. Zane, why is he not paying me for you that? You don't know you were in it. <laughs> I don't know. I'll sort it out later. Zane? Yeah. Right, Zane? Zane? Thank you very much for listening to another great episode of The Real Offside. Catch us next week. <laughs>